One of the most appealing aspects of this game we love so much is finding these little pockets of paradise. Close to the hustle bustle, but so serenely tucked away. Mosellum Springs Golf Course is one such property just west of Allentown, northwest of Philadelphia, laid masterfully on the rolling Pennsylvania hillside of this beautiful piece of property brought to you by the Traveling Golfer. This lager comes from a place that's been brewing beer for longer than anyone else in America, where men and women have crafted amber gold in the caves below since before refrigeration. It comes from Yingling, America's oldest brewery, and brings with it all the know-how that doing the thing well for nearly 200 years affords. Yingling, traditional lager. Respect, it's earned. High atop the fourth tee at Mazellum Springs, we get a panoramic view of the golf course and a perfect spot to talk to Eric Schillinger, General Manager, Director of Golf here in Mazellum Springs, a lucky man. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about this piece of heaven here in Berks County. What you're going to find is 18 holes, a beautiful design by uh, George Fazio. This is the first golf course that his nephew Tom Fazio worked on. So 1961, Holly Queer, this was his family farm, and he, he wanted to build a golf course uh, for his friends and for his family. The introduction to the property at Mazellum Springs starts from the very second that you drive through the entrance. I hear it all the time from our members that travel a long distance to get here. When they drive over the metal bridge and over the, over the stream, it's 230 acres, they just escape every day, all their stress and worries, here they are to enjoy their wonderful golfing experience. And it has all of the features you like to see in a golf course design. This is the type of golf course that you can play every day. We have five different sets of tees where you can challenge yourself to step it all the way back and championship tees or move it up a little bit uh, to enjoy the golf course a little shorter distance. But things that you'll find here are the greens are very large. The greens in Mazellum Springs are famous or should I say infamous, they're definitely a challenge. Correct, and it all depends where you hit the golf ball on, when you approach the green. From the fairway at Mazellum Springs, it's difficult to tell the depth of these large greens. That's why you have to get the exact yardage, factor in the slope, and then trust the process. The greens at Mazellum Springs are really large. From the fairway, they may not seem so, but if you hit to the wrong sector of the green, watch out. <laughs> As you can see, Rule number two at Mazellum Springs, don't get above the hole. I'm just gonna breathe on this one. Even when they're not shaved to breakneck speeds, there's no way to stop the ball. Smooth but deadly. Number 18 is widely known as the signature hole here. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the 18th hole plays 444 yards from the back tee, huge elevation change from the high tee ground to the fairway. If you don't hit a good drive, then you're challenged with hitting over a pond into a fairly large green that's trout stream is onto the right side of it. So if you hit a good drive, you can go for it in two. Uh, if you don't, you're looking to lay up to the left side of the pond, which is uh, a little tight area to approach your third shot on. Now everybody comes out of Mazellum Springs talking about that hole. I want a couple other holes that turn you on. My, two, I'll tell you my favorite part three is number 15. The highest point 
of the golf course. So you can overlook the whole valley. Plays about 120 yards up to about 170. It's our shortest par three, but then the next hole, number 16, it's a shorter par four where if you hit a good drive, you can then have just a small, like a shorter club into a wedge or a sand wedge into the green. Two beautiful vistas at the tee looking down into the hole. It just really sets up for a great finish. In addition to our members and guests staying and playing our beautiful golf course, members from other clubs can play here. This special arrangement can be made by their PGA Golf Professional. I'm going to bet that most of the members, once they come through the gates here at Mazelm Springs, are pretty happy. It's a big escape for them. And from their everyday life, their stress, their job, their worries, family, to come out here and, and enjoy this beautiful golf course and the experience that we've created from the food when they first come in with lunch, then golf, then drinks afterwards. So it's just a unique experience. The first hole at Mazellum Springs Golf Club. Trees guarding the left side of the fairway. Trees also used to guard the right side of the fairway until recently, thanks to golf course superintendent, Tim O'Neill. Tim, new on the job here at Mazellum Springs? Yeah, been here since 1975. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just a rookie. But you've seen the course grow, change, Absolutely. and now really change. Tell me yes. what the thought process was. Well, we had a lot of we had a lot of trees which were struggling, and we wanted to open things up, get better airflow, get better sunlight. So, just number one behind us right here on the upper side, we removed probably 50 trees over the last number of years and let the fescue grow up to create some what we call our naturalized areas. This fescue, unlike the fescue across the pond, mm -hmm. this really is just tinsel. It's basically an aesthetic uh, addition. Looks beautiful, especially when the breeze is blowing across it. And it does catch a few golf balls, very errant shots now and then, but we've tried to keep it out of play enough to basically be an aesthetic addition to the club. And one nice little feature that you did was adding a buffer zone to the fescue. We gave a five yard buffer zone, roughly five yards, which we mow at four and three quarter inches. So you can find your ball. It will stop your ball if it is rolling headed towards the fescue and you will be able to play a shot from there. Well, thank you for that. You also have a lot of landscaping, flowers, those kind of things. Some golf courses way over the top with million dollar additions. Donald Trump likes to do that and he did it certainly at Trump National in Washington mm -hmm. with waterfall, those kind of things they put in. Mazelm Springs, much more natural, but you really actually did go to put some beauty items in here. We did. We have a couple areas, especially around the 11th tee and the 15th tee. Uh, got some little bit of help from a good friend of mine who's a master gardener, made some plant recommendations. Got some deer resistant plants to under his advisement and uh, not over the top. We tried to keep it as natural looking as we could. You see golf courses change over the years. I'm going to say a good many of them for the worse. This one, so much better. Back in the 70s and 80s, we probably had 3,000 trees on the golf course. And now we probably don't have 25, 30% of them remain anymore. We've gotten rid of quite a few and added quite a few of the fescue areas in their place. It's also important to maintain the trees that you leave standing. Yes, it is. We, uh, we try to keep our trees trimmed up, make it easier for recovery shots to come out of there, make it easier for people to find their golf ball and play from, keep things moving. Pace of play. Absolutely. Superintendents who help <laughs> pace of play are the blessing of the game. The ones who impede pace of play because they want to make courses too tough, the bane of golf. Exotics Fairway Woods are legendary in their class for distance dominance. And a new material advantage takes the new EX10 Fairways to new heights in design innovation. The EX10 features a re-engineered wraparound cup face design from an advanced Japanese high strength steel. The cup face is triple forged into shape. This new face design also features variable face technology for massive distance even on off-center impact. 
The sole speed channel near the face increases the rebound effect on shots struck lower on the face and expands into four air channels on the sole for faster club speed from the fairway or the rough. The redesigned slipstream sole is lower to the ground to improve leading edge contact with the turf, reducing shots hit thin. This new thinner forged face saves weight that is shifted to the rear sole in the form of a 10 gram screw. The new, more sloping crown improves aerodynamics and also shifts weight lower in the rear of the sole. The EX10 features three premium high performance stock shaft options that include the Aldilla Rogue MAX series, the Graphite Design Tour AD50, and Mitsubishi's Basara E series. Exotics EX10, a material advantage. Well, we've talked enough about magnificent Mosellum Springs. About time we brought in an expert. Nobody around who's more of an expert than golf course architect Tom Fazio. He actually worked on the golf course before it opened in 1964, working for your famous uncle George Fazio. And I've got to say, what a way to break into the world of golf course architecture. Well, that was a great, unique place for me at, at my young age. Of course, I was very young then. and uh, Two or three years old. I, I mean, three, he's out here exactly. in the sand. No. <laughs> exactly. It was, a, it was a great memories. I've had the opportunity to be back many times uh, over the years. What was the climate like building Mosellum Springs in terms of, well, we need more golf courses, I guess? I actually got to physically work not just stand around and talk about it like I do today, but excavation of areas and creating and building bunkers, and leveling greens, and seeding grass, and doing all the details. And that's where I really learned the business. I was driving the median size stuff. The big stuff was reserved for the guys who really knew what they were doing. I was learning and it was a great experience. Uh, literally, I can remember it like it was yesterday, the commitment to a special golf course, the commitment to a special piece of land, a commitment to something that was very distinctive for the area. So there was wonderful principles behind the, the whole foundation of creating the Salton Springs. You didn't need those kind of dollars like we do today because we may not get the opportunity to work on properties as distinctive and special. Give us the number to build Mosellum Springs in 1964. Well, as I remember it, because it's something that stayed with me for a long time, because I still can't believe it, but the, the construction cost to build the course, now not the clubhouse and the other related facilities, but $254,000 was the construction cost to build the original golf course. That was a very good budget. Today, we can't put uh, sand in the bunkers for that. So it's a very different world today compared to back then. Fittingly, a little memorial area for the 1968 U.S. Women's Open Championship at Mosellum Springs, right next to the entrance to the ladies' locker room. There's some old photos of the championship. There's a plaque with the signature of all of the players. And then there's the official poster commemorating all the people who made that historic U.S. Open Women's Championship, a bit of history. Opened in 1964, the USGA actually awarded the 1968 U.S. Women's Open to Mazellum Springs, a baby golf course. It's unheard of. My uncle had done his homework about giving them the information about this special place that was being done, and they came to see it, and they were impressed. And I think that's one of the things that happened. And Susie Maxwell Burning won that Open, one of back-to-back -back women's Opens that she won. Up until that time, I had not watched many of the female golfers play golf. Uh, 
and that was the era of Arnold Palmer and Jack Nicholas starting for me. So I'm used to these power hitters, and I remember watching the girls on the practice tee, and I was impressed with the swings and the, the caliber. I also was impressed that she was a very cute golfer. <laughs> and so uh, that was a, a very special time in golf as well, and it was great for the area. 2018 is the 50th anniversary of the U.S. Women's Open Championship, which we were very proud to have hosted. That fits in with the reputation for Muslim Springs as a golfer's club. And that means that it was built for competition. We added a new combo tees that will make it more enjoyable for the beginner golfer to help grow the game. We're trying to balance who plays the golf course as far as not only having championship events here, but also for our membership. Muslim Springs has maintained its high ranking in the golf courses for years and years as it is. What characteristics of Mazellum Springs give it that, gave it that uh, sustainability? I think the main ingredient is the overall environment, the setting for Mazellum. It's a golf feel place. It feels good. There's something special about the framing, the definition of the golf holes, the total outside edges, the the community it gives it a special it doesn't look like it's changed much it's always been good yeah. and it stays good yeah. there's not much development around it it hasn't changed substantially so i think that's what really gives it that sustainability and i know you don't like to talk about these kind of things but i i can talk about them and that's the rankings the 2017 golf digest top 200 list they expanded it came out and there are a number of architects on there that have 9, 10, 11, maybe even 12 courses in the top 200. Folks, if you look at that list of top 200, you'll see that Tom Fazio has 33 golf courses on that list. Is that That's, all? <laughs> is that oh, all? Gosh. <laughs> That's a staggering number. That's like when Babe Ruth was hitting 60 home runs and the rest of the players were hitting 20. All right, more from Mosellum Springs, one of the earliest courses that Tom Fazio ever worked on with his uncle, the great architect George Fazio. Zellum Springs is about 20 miles west of Allentown, a patch of Pennsylvania that features Kutztown University, some spectacular farmland, and a burgeoning wine industry. There are a number of wineries in the area that make a great stop on your way to a day of golf. When people think of Mazellum Springs, they think of the ultimate golf club. But more than that, it's a golf culture. And the man who stirs that culture is the club president, Michael Flippin. Michael, welcome to The Traveling Golfer. Thank you, Tony, appreciate it. I've always had a feeling about Mosellum Springs, having visited here often over the years, that there's a very special membership to it. Uh, unlike most country clubs that draw their members from 10, 15 miles radius. Mm -hmm. Zone Springs has that, but then has a large radius that goes almost all the way around the country. It does, it does. Yeah, we're, we have a really special place here, we really do. It was a former family farm, and my great uncle had a vision of having a championship golf club here, golf experience. And we share that passion and that tradition today. So really excited about it. And when I talk about the people from around the country, the way they come here is through a special membership you set up. Mm -hmm. And most people are surprised to hear that of our golfing members, about half of them are from outside of what we would consider the, the resident membership circle, right? So we draw from Washington, D.C., various parts of Maryland, 
New Jersey, New York, Long Island, even up into New England. All throughout the mid-Atlantic region. Mm -hmm. And the way that the club incentivizes this membership from all over America is with a non-resident membership for people outside of a 35 mile radius. Yeah, absolutely, that's, that's right. So about half of our members, half of our golfing members are outside of that 35 mile radius of Anselm Springs. Yeah. So it's anywhere from the Washington DC area, various parts of Maryland, greater Philadelphia, New York, Long Island, even up into the southern parts of New England. Yeah, the mid-Atlantic. I also saw a lot of Florida plates in the oh, parking absolutely. lot. absolutely. Yeah. They, they come from there Snowbirds too. Snowbirds come home, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting because we know of those kind of memberships at the most elite of clubs. Pine Valley, Augusta National, Shinnecock, those places uh, have that. Moselle Springs has the same type of thing in this special setting here in Berks County. Mm, it does. And we're often a, um, a very pleasant surprise. So a couple years ago, we had someone from the USGA Golf Museum come. Never been here before, came around the turn here and said she was absolutely astonished at what a gem <laughs> was just off the, the highway and just in this little secluded area here in, in Berks County. Now, some of these non-resident members who come from more than 35 miles away may work in the area and they mm -hmm. come back and forth and it's very convenient for them. Others come up here for a little bit of a two, three day retreat. You mm -hmm. make it very easy for them. You've got overnight accommodations right here at the clubhouse. We do, we do. And, and that's part of that experience is when golfers come out, men and women alike, they wanna focus on the, their game, maybe get some lessons, play some rounds, but often really enjoy the camaraderie of having dinner here and we have 12 overnight rooms where our guests can stay with their guests. And of those 12 rooms that we have, we have standard rooms which can accommodate one or two guests, but we also do have a, a full suite as well. And enjoy that experience and make it a multi-day multi -day event. Yeah. Having a fine restaurant right inside the clubhouse makes it pretty easy too. The food has always been great at Mosellum Springs. So they come in and they've got all that they could possibly want right on the property, no need to leave. That's right. And when we think about a lot of the modern day business experience too, golf, you know, with the time, is we also want to bring those business events here to Masilm as well. So we have conference facilities, a boardroom, which a lot of our members use and can use as corporate retreats as well. With such a rich tradition at Mazellum Springs, how do you balance that with the needs of the modern member? Hmm. Well, I think First and foremost, we want to remain, and we have a commitment to being a golf club. So we're all about the golf experience. We don't have a pool, we have no plans for a pool. We don't have a tennis court, we don't have plans for a tennis court. We are a golf experience. So we really focus on the game of golf and our passion for the game of golf. And it's a family thing. I take it very personally. Yeah. After a couple of tough days walking up and down the hills at Mosellum Springs, a little bit of relaxation is in order. No more relaxing golf course in all of Pennsylvania. This bit of tranquility is an amazing property, all wrapped around a beautiful golf course. We hope you enjoyed it on this latest episode of The Traveling Golfer, and you'll be with us for many more future episodes along the most beautiful trail in America, the Golf Trail. Tony Leodora's golf wardrobe courtesy of Antigua, the leader in modern golf apparel. Tour Edge is the official equipment sponsor of The Traveling Golfer.